turning it over to Francis. Second effort from Jenkins. Francis still on the ball. Fahi stepping. Good sliding effort there from Darren Fahey. It look easy. Fahey again, switching the ball across. Tried to take that one down instead. Turning it over, Fahey has Kauka on her back. Finds Jedrakowski in the midfield. Ferraro. Cleared away by Elliott. forward to make that play. She'll send it back to, to Bahi into Jenkins. We'll get their first minutes at the next opportunity. Visiting Vermont, ahead by a score of one to zero through Bassa's goal. Hartford with the chance to tie it up two minutes later from the penalty spot. Denied by Kessel. Tries to turn. Ten, nine, Ten seconds eight, to go. Seven, Fahey. Hartford swinging it across midfield. Darren Fahey breaking forward. Service now from Fahey. Jenkins Lartford to half chances and long range shots. Costa Garcia. Was brought on in part to try and improve that. I believe Shogren's got a piece of that on a punch out. And she is now up to 15 points for the sophomore from Middletown, Connecticut. Brookshire tripped up. No whistle. Can send it back. Harford doing some good touch passing. Far sideline from a. And number 10, the junior for the Hartford Hawks, Ashani to the outside, Nick Lassen. Keeps it in bounce, but lost her footing. Doing dirty work in the corner, trying to get it into the middle. Here's a cross. Foster all over her. Break. Losing streaks, UMass Lowell with a 1 0 loss to U Albany on Sunday. And then the Hawks coming off their first two conference losses of the season. Nick Lassen went one. for taking their time in their own end. Can't be flirting with danger too much here in the second half. Omar try to give and go with Papa Theodoro. Good read there, mate. And she timed her jump perfectly. Each team with a goal in each half. Papa Theodoro bringing the pressure on. Good example 
of the danger posed by Jasmine Colbert. Now tries to switch it quickly. Sophia Eifler was there to slow her down. Good step there by Fahi. She'll look to join the attack. Gets it back from Ferraro. Darren Fahi. Now they'll go again. Montgomery Williams dishes it off for Jenkins. She'll keep it alive. Hartford starting to move the ball a little more quickly again, perhaps energized by that chance on goal. Lane eyeing up her options. She'll play backward. Fahi rolls it out of her feet. She'll now serve to the far post. Servone keep ball flopping around here in the midfield. Hartford on possession. Fahey runs it forward with it through the midfield area. That'll be tossed down towards the box. Hartford, ha Hartford with possession. Sent up into the midfield area. Now pass back, just shy of midfield. Push it downfield. Main comes away with it. Currently being used for that sport. Wonderful dual purpose complex here. That'll head up past midfield. Working down the near facility granted to college athletes due to the COVID 19 pandemic. By Susanna Gaines, a throw in by Hartford for the box, towards the box, I suppose I should say. Sent back. Midfielder with it now, rushing down the sideline, headed back down. That's Gaines on it once more. Harford running down the sideline. Flip towards the box. Gritsky under pressure, plays it forward, quickly gets it up. Looks like Andrea Costa Garcia soon to check in. Tristan McFarland, Victoria Jedrakowski. And the back line will swing it around once more. All the way up for Ferraro. Bingman continues her change. Stone stepping into that holding midfield role. Christina Stone being pressured by Haley Shears. Able to switch the point. Here's Darren Fahey. Fahey forward for Lane. She wants it back. Lane serves to the far post, trying to return the favor. Ferrara's header's just over the ball. So Hartford out to a two-goal lead, not showing any signs of slowing up. Chloe Lane. Lost bar this time. Was it a cross? Was it a shot? Some like to call that a schross. Ball 
one by Fahi.